Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Today we are looking under the hood and getting technical with the 2021 Mercedes AMG GLE 53 with the M256 engine, one of the most technologically advanced inline six cylinder engines ever produced. In the Mercedes AMG GLE 53 coupe we've been testing is a revolutionary new engine for Mercedes Benz. It's big news not only because it marks the return of the silky refinement of an inline six cylinder engine, but because of all of its firsts in technology. The 3 liter inline six is turbocharged, of course, with an output of 429 horsepower and 384 pound feet of torque. It has a milder variation available for other models at 362 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque. Remarkable is the first use of a dedicated 48-volt integrated starter alternator, or ISG, at the rear of the engine that provides power for previously belt-driven accessories such as the AC compressor and water pump. These components remain bolted to the engine, but a belt drive is a thing of the past. Called EQ Boost, this technology is a mild hybrid system. In such, the ISG can provide an additional boost of 21 horsepower and 148 pound-feet of torque on demand for extra acceleration, for maintaining vehicle speed and coast conditions, and providing the smoothest idle start-stop behavior I've ever experienced. Starting up from a resting idle at a stoplight, for instance, is nearly imperceptible. The ISG can also capture power through mild regenerative braking to charge back its 48-volt battery. While the 48 volt system powers all of these engine related components, a 12 volt subsystem remains to power the systems such as lighting, interior, instrumentation, infotainment, and computer controls. To performance, the powerful ISG provides voltage to its also first in production Borg Warner Electric Auxiliary Compressor, or EZV, which spinning up to 70,000 RPM in as little as 300 milliseconds can provide intake boost the engine needs at startup when the traditional turbocharger is still waking up eliminating turbo lag entirely. This further enhances the engine's ability to get with the program when idle start-stop is in action. Looking around the intake hardware, ambient air is drawn through a long snorkel from behind the grille and around the rear of the engine to the throttle body mounted directly onto a sizable turbocharger. Air from the compressor then travels through two separate tracks, one to the EZV where it can be given an extra immediate dose of boost the other directly into the engine. Regardless of which boosted air source, the intake charge then flows through an air-to-water intercooler integrated into the intake manifold for packaging and thermal efficiency. This allows the heat exchanger radiator to be more easily placed. Inner GLE is located down low behind the left side front fascia. Chain-driven dual overhead camshafts can operate with both variable valve timing and variable valve lift using multi-lobe camshafts which can be slid back and forth laterally with electronically controlled actuators. Direct fuel injection with piezo injectors fire each of the engine's 500cc combustion chambers. Further taking advantage of its compact packaging ethic, the catalyst components are moved up to immediately meet the turbocharger at its outlet, which increases thermal efficiency. A standard particulate filter can then be fitted further downstream under the floorboard, also a newer technology with a gasoline engine. Construction is lightweight, of course, utilizing an aluminum block and head. The structural lower crankcase cover is an innovative combination of cast aluminum and composite. Most of the ancillary external components, such as the intake manifold and valve cover assemblies, are also composite. Looking around the engine compartment itself in our GLE Coupe, all of the major components are easily viewed and appear to be easily serviced. The oil filler cap and the filter are right on the top at the front of the engine, for example. With the engine cover removed, you can see considerable heat shielding surrounding the turbocharger, catalyst, and exhaust system components. Plastic covers on either side of the upper firewall sections conceal high-voltage electrical components, but a 12-volt access point is provided. Multiple batteries, both 48-volt and 12-volt, are hidden under the seating and floorboards and other areas of the vehicle. All variations of the 3-liter M256 are produced in Unterturkheim, Germany. In the case of our AMG GLE 53 Coupe test vehicle, the engines are shipped to Vance, Alabama, where the vehicle itself is assembled. All right, I am pretty excited about this new engine. It's obviously a technical wonder, and it does mark the return of the inline six in Mercedes-Benz vehicles. They went to the V6 quite some time ago, and it was disappointing to a lot of Mercedes-Benz purists and people that really enjoy the luxurious, silky smoothness that an inline-six engine offers and only an inline-six can offer. And Mercedes, obviously they decided to go back to their roots. And well, BMW never wavered, but that's okay. We're not gonna, we're not gonna go there. 
Anyway, if you like the video you just saw, click here, see our latest one or better yet, click here and subscribe to TDTV Garage.